was having a debate with a troll today on a paleo forum, and this is what they said. You can't be vegan because you don't get enough protein. We're meant to eat animals. Wood grubs, llamas, chickens, sheep, cats, dogs, rats, everything. So I forwarded them to the Bear Gorillas, you know, that man versus wild dude. And I said, what do you think of this video? Ready for this? Oh my goodness. This one has been living in there a very, very long time. I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to need to eat for a week after this one. Oh, did you just see that? Oh my god, that was sick. Now listen to the following, all these paleo hacks talking about, oh, well, this is a really ethical diet and it's very sustainable and very good for the environment. Okay, eat your wood grubs and shut up, because listen to what Bear Grylls is about to say. Pound for pound. Insects like these contain more protein than beef or fish. They're perfect survival food. <laughs> so next time some paleo primal hack tries to give you, well, it's very good for the environment, my diet. It's like bullshit. You're cutting down the Amazon for your grass-fed beef. How about you eat some wood grubs because they've got more protein per calorie than any animal product on the planet. So chowd on your wood grubs. Grow your wood grubs in your garden, chow them down, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. The reality is you don't need to eat wood grubs. You don't need to eat any dead animals. The reality is all essential amino acids are found in whole plant foods. So if you get enough calories from plant foods, you get enough protein. And here's Robert Cheek, a vegan bodybuilder, just in case someone wants to build some muscle and lift up heavy objects and put them back down again. You can do it if you're a vegan as well.